an official funeral in honor of one of Namibia's sons who supported Namibia's journey to freedom was held. Little is documented about him, but Aunsep joined Swapo in his youthful years. During the liberation struggle, organizing meetings openly was not always easy, but there were those who dared the oppressive regime. Akodi, as he was known by his nickname, was one of them. He availed his house to the Swapo Party Youth League for meetings, whatever the consequence. But it does not end there. Akodi was also there during the events that unfolded in 1978, and like many others, he suffered at the hands of the South African soldiers. In their tribute, both founding President Sam Neoma and President Hage Gengop described Aunsep as a fearless freedom fighter and a gallant son of Namibia. He is also remembered as a patriot, one who never wavered and formed part of the heroes who sacrificed a lot for Namibia's independence. In this regard, on December 3rd, 1978, as they were marching down Independence Avenue, denouncing South Africa and the DTA, the comrades were suddenly attacked by a combined force of South African police, army and prison warders. Comrade Auseb was severely beaten, but still defiantly declared, you may kill all of us, but there will be one Namibian left to tell the world what happened here today. In spite of great risk to his life, he was never deterred in his quest for freedom and social justice. As such, his bravery, resilience and commitment to the liberation struggle has made our country a better place. Close friends of the late war veteran sang songs of motivation they used to sing during the time of the oppressive apartheid era. This one was Akodi's favorite. <laughs> He was honored with a six gun salute. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.